Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Factorio Fix It. My name is Rude Negative and let's get cracking. Today we're in a factory by gaming with Ben. Now Ben has a YouTube channel. He's been struggling mightily with Factorio and um, I've, I've been uh, actually watching him a little bit because of uh, Timber and Stone. He's, he's a gun Timber and Stone player. And then I noticed that he played Factorio. And then I noticed that he played KSP. And then I noticed that he played, or has played, about half the games that I like or interested in or want to play. So I hit him up on, on Twitter and said, look, can I have a look at your factory? And uh, he said, yeah, sure, here. Now, he's in the middle of a massive redesign. This was the old spaghetti factory, and you can see that he's moving to a more of an organized setup. So this is what we're going to try and uh, assist with today. Now, a couple of, couple of things. We'll just, uh, we'll just familiarize ourselves to begin with, and then crack on and see what else we can... Uh, what else we can get done? You'll notice here that Ben has set up his research labs to accept blue science. And, uh, you know, the, the green and the red science is set up fairly well. What we'll do is we'll, we'll amend red science, though, because you'll notice that he's got one gear factory to two red science factories, and that's just plain overkill. So um, I did notice that in one of his videos he was complaining about... Um, Wow, that's interesting. He's using longhand inserters everywhere for all the things. Um, yeah, he was complaining about power issues, so uh, we'll do our best to assist with his um, power issues. Oop, I turned off the entire base. Go me! Off to a brilliant start, as always. Oop, that's not what I expected this. Now, um, I just need to order my, oop, order my inventory so that I can expect things to be in a certain spot. I love hotkeys. You're not playing with hotkeys, get on that bandwagon. Keys are awesome. Okay. Well, actually, hold on. Hold the phone. What we could do, right, is... Nope, that ain't gonna work. Bugger. Well, that was gonna be the pretty way of doing things. Um, apparently we can't do things the pretty way, we gotta do it the ugly way. I'm all for the ugly way. Ugly way, as long as it's effective, is um, is okay. Okay. Now we're going to amend how the uh, the gear wheels work with the red science, because right now having four factories for, to do the work of one is yeah a little bit crazy. Uh, nothing nothing wrong with a bit of overkill, but we'll uh, we'll do good overkill. But what I believe is good overkill anyway. So all we need is really you to go away. Uh, um, we'll get rid of that lamp as well because that'll work in very, very nicely there. And this is going to make us gear wheels. Okay. So this this is going to give us all the throughput that we're ever going to need for this. Come on, reach. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Right. Now you watch this, right? And this, this could actually potentially be upgraded to this. Just check that the iron plate is coming in quick enough, seems to be. Ooh, not quite. Okay. More speed. And you can see that this, this is going to buffer up quite nicely. Okay, fairly easy, fairly, fairly straightforward. Um, ooh, actually, what we could do, right? So we even just add a little bit of extra storage to the line. Self-balance. Ta-da! So that, that's going to handle red science for uh, the Ben. Is that still getting copper? Yes, it is. I haven't broken anything. Excellent. Okay, so same thing. Uh, fewer... Well, I possibly overkilled that. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's okay. Now, so that's that's kind of red science sorted for us, and um, that's all very very nice. It looks like the green science is it, this is passable. This works. This is okay because you know we've got a, a simple build. It, it's all matched up very nicely, and in fact, what we could do that'll make it six. Now, the reason I want to put six down and not five is because then that's actually pretty nicely matched. 
like the balance is there. And I'll show you why. Here you can see that this takes five seconds to create, and this takes six. So that's why we have five of the red science pack and six of the green science pack. Now we just need to adjust this belt. That'll work too. Happy days. And I've just actually flipped the flipped the order there, so that's not great, but there we go, fixed. Problem solved. You notice that the gear wheel factory isn't quick enough to keep up there. There we go. It's a thing of beauty. This is actually a fairly robust little setup too. What's it waiting for? Many things. Uh, oh, uh, that was combat robotics. Now he's got the inserter stack bonus, which is a good thing. Uh, we'll grab the we'll grab the shotgun shooting spell speed. So this this keeps working for the moment. Ooh, that ain't gonna work. Hmm. Um, hmm. We need a better way of doing this. Ah, uh, um, did he, um, we could just do it how he was doing it and then do a bit of spaghetti. Yeah, nothing wrong with a bit of spaghetti. Let's roll with some spaghetti. So that's, uh, that's kind of the, the green and the red sorted. I just wanted to start there and get a little... A fair foundation. Um, that's not quick enough. Now we've got power issues. That's okay. That's okay. We can work with power issues. So that's kind of the foundation sorted for Ben. I think this is robust. It's going to handle all that, uh, all that it needs to handle. And it'll keep up with any later builds. Now, there's something funny about Factorio. Okay. It looks like he's put down the thing and been like, okay, blue science, get pumped, get psyched, let's do blue science. And then you look in the inventory and there's seven blue science packs. This is never a good sign. When there's blue, seven blue science packs just sitting in your inventory, um, that means you've handcrafted them. If you've handcrafted stuff, you know you're in trouble. And that's okay, because we can assist. We can help. Now, the... The thing about Blue Science is it's got quite a few advanced products. So it's got batteries, it's got advanced circuits, it's got smart inserters, and then it's got steel plate. All of which are, you know, one, two, three, or four steps from the actual base product. It's not like Red Science where copper plate, well, you just smelt some copper and there you go, you got one of them. And iron gears, you just grab some iron and turn it into iron gear wheels. You know, that's, that's a zero step, a zero plus one. So zero steps for one and one step for the other. In the uh, in the green science pack, you got kind of uh, two or three steps, which is okay. You know, most people can handle that. But blue science is something in new entirely. So what we need to do is we need to come over here and have a quick look at the um, yeah this <laughs> because right now you'll see that the petroleum gas is non-existent, and there's a reason for that. The reason for that is that we have tanks full of gas. Now, it looks like the yeah, it looks like the entire thing is pretty sound, pretty stable. So what we're going to do is we are actually going to um, see if we can get this build running a little bit better. Now this is vanilla, okay? So the spawn is vanilla, that means there's tons of oil all around. So the advice I'm about to give is for vanilla only. If you're playing RSO, you do not want to uh, do what I'm about to do. Now what am I about to do? Well, I am about to uh, change all of this into... Bugger, he hasn't got any... Uh, where is the... Yeah, ch change this into solid fuel. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that solid fuel and actually use it to run my boilers, to use it to run this furnace, all of this over here, and I'm going to plug it in at the back. Now the reason for the plugging in at the back. Thanks, shotgun shooting speed. 
We'll grab the laser sh shooting speed next. Now the reason for plugging it in at the back is because then it, um, it's not going to draw this coal unless it needs to. Okay, because the, the solid fuel is going to get priority. Okay, we just plug this in on the back. Yeah, quick and dirty. Love it. Excellent stuff. Boom. Thank you, mother, for the rabbits. We'll do the same thing here. This is going to be... Yep. Nope. I don't want that. I want heavy. Perfect. And that's perfect too. Now, actually, we could actually try something like this, right? Nope, that ain't going to work. So what we'll do is something a little bit different. And this this will be inherently balanced, hopefully. Okay. We'll go over here and get this plugged in. Clear some trees. I love chopping wood. Now, something interesting actually, I had to go and install 12.6 uh, because Ben's on the latest patch, right? And I haven't gone onto the latest patch for a very good reason. That reason being that uh, some of my mods are really not playing nice with some of the experimental updates. So, luckily, uh, we had uh, I had Colonel Will who uh, test guinea pigged it out and it broke his me mega base safe. Now, you notice here that this is going to fill up this thing. And that's going to be great. Now, this is just going to move some of this oil, right? And, well, actually, yeah, have that. I'm just thinking about this a little bit more. Uh, no, I think we got that fixed. It, it's going to run. Uh, we're going to get some more petroleum gas, which means we're going to get some more plastic, which is great. We're going to get some sulfuric acid. Awesome. Happy days. Bob's our uncle. Fred is our aunt. Actually, I'm just thinking very, very quickly. Yeah, very, very quickly. Oh, we've got to craft some stuff first. What we really need to do with this heavy oil is turn it into lube. That's what we really need to be doing. As, uh, Ben's got a, uh, a passive provider down here, which means that he's, he's wanting robots. And why wouldn't you? Robots are awesome. So this is going to do lube. And it's going to pump it straight into a... Uh, Storage tank. There we go. So we have lube. Now this is just going to also take care of this heavy oil problem as quickly as possible. You see this is running along, yeah, fairly smoothly. All, all good, I think. All good. Now we've got plastics being produced here. Now the thing about uh, plastics and indeed batteries as well, uh, we need to get them over oh, over to the left. Now, there's really no easy way for me to do that in the remaining minutes that I have. So I'm going to uh, do a really, really quick, nasty and dirty build just to start, a, start the thinking, basically. Because the... The thing about blue science is you've got to break it down. You can't just go, I want blue science, and then, you know, just miraculously have the build done, like you can red, or even to a lesser extent, green science. So right now, this this is going to be... Oh, where am I taking this? Where am I taking this, and why am I going that way? You see, this... The interesting thing is the main bus is all the way up here. Okay, this is supposed to be the main bus running out this direction, but then we've got this trunk line coming down here into the science build. So I dare say, I dare say the best way of... Wow, that's a lot of stone. Now, because I'm not going to be giving this save back to Ben, I can do things like this. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> I'm like the speed, Speedy Gonzales of the, uh, the Factorio world. I'm Roadrunner, but different. Oh, look at it all. Oh, it's, it's a stone. We paid Paradise and put down a parking lot. Happy days. Okay, you and you come here. 
Okay. Oh yes. Now here's here's the thoughts, right? I'll just pave this first. You never have enough pavement. It's low maintenance. You never have to water the weeds. To can't grow. It, it's just you know that's that's what every factory needs. Okay, there we go. Now, here's the thoughts, right? So we need to do a red circuit build. To do red circuits, we need green circuits. To do green circuits, we need to do some stuff. So uh, what we'll do is we'll have a quick look at how we're going to do this. What is this coal doing and why is it in the way? Okay. We have mining drills on our person. We also have gun turrets. Why do we have guard turrets? Yeah, take that, take that. Uh, you can have that, 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 that. Oh, well, actually, I'll take these back. You can have, definitely have that. Uh, gun turret. Uh, the robot port uh, we probably won't need. Alright. We're good. Oh, do we have any... Do we have any circuits sitting around? We have three. Do we have any over here? Probably not. We have five. Excellent. Okay, so what would I do? Well, I would... Da, 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 um, I'll do something like this, right? Because the size of this factory, this, this is going to be all the green circuits Ben's going to need, at least until he decides it's going too slowly. Where the hell is it? Here we go. We want green circuits... Happy days. Uh, thank you, shotgun damage. RTO. And we're happy with that. Okay, so there is the beginning of the green circuit build. Well, the green circuit build's practically done. Um, oh, we need circuits. We need circuits. We need circuits out the wazoo. Okay, while that thinks about that, we're going to um, think about running some of this. Whatever. I'll delete you later. Okay, uh, underground. Underground belt. Nice. Something like this. Yes, work with me, work it. Oh, you bad factory. You bad factory, you. Right, uh, thing, done. Done, done, and uh, doubly done. Uh, bad news, <laughs> not enough production capacity. Uh-oh, that's all right. Future, future Ben problem. This is not a problem for me. <laughs> okay, so we have theoretically enough circuits to sink a battleship now. Uh, I'll have that. Now, the next step is to get the red science builds going. So, yeah, we could, we could do something there. Check this out, right? Oh, yeah, green circuits. So what do we want to do with the uh, red circuits? Well, the red circuits require green circuits plus plastic and some copper cable. So what we'll do is we'll get the copper cable sorted, just real quick like, and um, that, that will be kind of step number one. Now, we're really short on these bad boys. Give me these. I need all of them. I need all the things. Um, Ben, I'm really sorry, dude, but I seem to have broken your factory. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, you don't need to know all the numbers to play Factorio. You just need to know some. If you know some, you'll be better than 90% of the people in the game. Uh, because all you need to know is roughly, very, very roughly, what goes with what. Now, actually, what we'll do... So we'll make some of these as well. And I am just about out of time, bugger. 
So actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go all the way through Blue Science, how I would do it. And uh, that means another episode. So I look forward to seeing you then, ladies and gentlemen. Until next time, thank you for joining me.